indeed read your letters of reference, and they do indeed seem impeccable. But this would be your first position. Yes, sir. It is the first time I have left home. But you have some experience. When I responded to your advertisement, I believe I gave details of my work in the village schoolroom. I would venture to say that I have a better than average grounding in all the major subjects. I don't doubt it. You seem eminently qualified for the post. Thank you, sir. The children in question are my nephew and niece to whom I am guardian. My brother died on active service in India and his wife uh, a year before from yellow fever. I'm very sorry to hear it. So I am, as I say, a bachelor. I've not a penny worth of paternal understanding and I travel a good deal. Do you? I'm abroad much of the year. I've therefore installed these youngsters in my country place. It is at Blythe that I require a governess. I have no preference as to location. You do not? Splendid. I must say I pity the poor chicks. Left with no mamma or papa to protect them. I assure you, I've done all I can. Who was it first, a young lady in charge there, who did for them most beautifully, a very proper person, a Miss Jessel. But we had the misfortune to lose her. She left? I'm sorry to say she died. Of what did she die? It's not a matter that I feel inclined to discuss. Nonetheless, we miss her. The children especially miss her. I have tried to get down to Bly as often as I practically might, but the awkward thing is my own affairs take up all my time. And besides, I have not the patience for children. I will be frank with you. I have seen several candidates for the post of governess, but none has yet engaged. For each, the main condition has proven prohibitive. The main condition of the job is that you will never trouble me. But never. Never. Neither appeal nor complain nor write about anything. But meet all questions yourself, receive all monies from my solicitor, take the whole thing over, but leave me alone. The minute you arrive, you will naturally have full responsibility. It really is imperative that I am not disturbed. As for the boy, he's away at school. After the unpleasantness I put him there, it's only ten. But what else could be done? He will be in your custody during the holiday. I have not yet said that I will engage. You would be doing me the greatest favour. You would lighten the burden. I should be forever in your debt. I'm asking you to assume the management of my family affairs. I would not ask you had I not the highest estimation of your abilities. May I place my confidence in you? I don't know. I... May I? 